informative okay, presentation. Now, okay, we ask Assistant Lecturer Batul Zahra Murtaba Ali to okay, come to the platform. She will talk about the Imams, the Imams curriculum in educating the individual and the nation. You are most welcome. My name is Batul Zahra and I'm from Pakistan. Um, I'm right now studying in Karbala. Um, and uh, first of all, um, I would like to thank uh, the team of Al Abbas Holy Shrine for uh, giving, giving us uh, the chance to write for Islam and Ahl Bayt And re regarding my research, uh, I have chosen the topic uh, about Imam Sajjad uh, about the life of Imam Sajjad and the topic was uh, the uh, curriculum of Imam in educating the individual and the nation. Uh, as we all know that uh, uh, in the time period of Imam Sajjad the Imam um, had faced uh, a number of difficulties and hardships uh, after the incident of Ashura. And uh, that time, um, after the incident of Ashura, uh, after that, after the Karbala movement, the incident of uh, Hara, and a um, number of uh, various uh, difficulties uh, which Imam had faced, and due to these problems, the uh, due to these hardships and all that, uh, the beliefs and uh, faiths of people not only just weakened, but uh, many of them were distracted from the uh, religion, from the right path, and many of them had left the religion. So uh, Imam uh, Imam Sajjad salam with his profound wisdom, Imam has started. Uh, a secret mission um, in order to strengthen the faiths and beliefs of people in their minds, in their hearts, in their souls, uh, in, a, in order uh, uh, to uh, and strengthen them uh, for the steadfastness uh, towards the right path. And that secret plan, Imam, which Imam has started uh, 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 with his unique supplications, and uh, uh, the most unique and effective supplications which contain uh, the sublime and compre comprehensive concepts and for t in order to guide uh, the uh, society, the individual and society. And uh, through uh, these supplications which, uh, which are collected and attributed to the name of uh, Sahifa Sajjadiyah, and through these uh, uh, beautiful supplications, the Imam has reformed and trained the society uh, in such a way which, uh, that these supplications led the individual and the society uh, to complete their lives, uh, uh, to complete their lives respecting uh, the, uh, that they fulfill uh, the rights of Allah and uh, also, the rights of people, both are respected. And uh, the, some, uh, I will share some words uh, uh, from the supplications of Imam that uh, Imam uh, uh, Sajjad al-Islam said, Allahumma ja'alni min jundik fa inna jundaka humul ghalibun wa ja'alni min hizbik fa inna hizbaka humul muflihun wa ja'alni min awliyaik fa inna awliyaka la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun and uh, the wonderful words of imam the supplications of imam contained uh, all uh, covered all the matters like uh, all religious matters whether related to faiths and beliefs whether related to fiqh and jurisprudence whether related to morals and ethics or social matters and uh, by these supplications, uh, with the, um, the priceless efforts of Imam, uh, uh, the Imam wanted the people to become closer to Almighty Allah in such a way that uh, they uh, uh, that a, a, a spiritual connection should be must be established uh, 
uh, in their hearts towards uh, their Lord. Because uh, we all know that the uh, main, purpose, uh, main purpose of a human's life is to gain knowledge about the Almighty Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in order to obey Him in the right way. So, um, uh, when a person, uh, when, uh, when the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shines in the heart of a person, he becomes obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submitive, submissive to his Lord. Um, because, the, because the obedience and the love are connected to each other. Uh, they are not separable. And how uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran Kareem, um, so uh, the more I'll conclude this the more a person has a strong belief the more uh, he is firm in his belief and faith in belief in uh, belief in Allah uh, in his justice um, and on the day of judgment accounting and all these the more he is obedient to Allah so, uh, because, uh, and obedience is the fruit of love. The more he loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, he, he, he must be uh, more conscious uh, about uh, wajibat, about muhrimat, about uh, all the uh, necessary things, all the obligations of Islam. And uh, uh, in the last, uh, I, uh, I would like to share uh, the deep, uh, loving words of Imam that how uh, Imam wanted uh, from uh, us uh, to lead that position uh, and uh, to establish that relationship with Almighty Allah that uh, Imam said in his Dua Tawbah that, oh, oh Allah, uh, I want, uh, Imam said, oh Allah, forgive me, I, I uh, repent you from uh, everything that contradicts your will. And uh, Imam said, from the, uh, from the thoughts of my heart, from the moments of my eyes, and from the stories of my tongue. And these are the so much uh, loving words. And uh, um, in the last, uh, I would say uh, to that, uh, inshallah, uh, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept uh, this humble effort from us and to uh, enrich us with the wealth of sincerity because um, indeed if a person is sincere in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, then Allah opens uh, for him the doors of eternal success beyond his expectations. Uh, thank you so much for listening and thank you so much once again to Al-Abbas Holy Shrine and thanks to all of you.